Hey, this is my example of multi-touch robot control. Uh, I loaded up Visual Studio 2010 Beta 2 um, onto the TX2 laptop. And I've got a um, NXT LEGO robot, and I can just power that on. And so using, um, using Bluetooth, I can actually send commands to it, which plenty of people have done already. But what I did is I wrote a little app that um, will actually use a multi-touch uh, control on the screen to actually control the robot. Um, I wrote this, this is actually an article that um, I posted on Code Project, but what you can do is now that you have the two controls there, you can go ahead and move them forward and have the robot move around, kind of like a tank control. If you want them to stop, you can stop. If you want them to move backwards, slide both things back. I don't want them to go off the table there. If we want to have them spin around, um, we can move one forward and one back. And then obviously we can go have them go the other direction as well. So if we want them to move forward a little bit, oh, I don't want them to move forward off the table there. Let's back them up a little bit here. So I've posted all the code for this out on Code Project, and uh, you can play around with it if you obviously if you have a, um, a laptop that can do multi-touch, uh, you can load up the Visual Studio Beta, Beta 2. Um, you basically need the .NET 4.0 um, framework with WPF 4.0 that actually has the touch, um, touch events that you can utilize here. Thank you.